Hello, what I foos? This is James. Fancy Pegasus has arrived in the duel, and I have some free to play farm decks for us all, and we're gonna view them in the form of some replays. Uh, so basically, what Pegasus has is below me, his deck list is three relinquished, well, his level 40 deck list, three relinquished, two cyber, one, one toon goblin. This card is Millennium Eyes Illusionist. It, uh, it, if he has a relinquished on the field, he can give the good suck from the hand. Uh, we have Toon Summon Skull, two Toon Gemini Elf, one Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Don't worry about that one. Uh, but basically, all of his things are like spells or giving the good suck. All right, so here the first thing he does is he, yeah, here's his relinquished fusion. If you can summon one uh, eyes restrict monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from your hand, field or graveyard during your main phase, you can banish this card, and then one of your relinquished monsters can give the good suck. And then here's actually my first idea because his he, he these new relinquished cards actually leaked. Um, they they were new cards that were discovered in the game files, so. Uh, I knew to I knew to go in with Paleos, and this is actually my first idea. And I'm using the Mind Scan skill because I'm trying to see what kind of face downs he has. And then here, uh, yeah, we're using Wetlands to get big and uh, D Spell for the Toon Worlds because uh, our our Paleos Oaks being unaffected by Relinquished does not prevent the Toons from attacking over us. But if we have Wetlands. Uh, two wetlands in this deck list. Well, there's supposed to be two. I have one anti-magic arrows because I forgot to take them out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, but what's, you know what's the nice thing about Pegasus is that once you blunt his initial advance, uh, he doesn't have a ton of follow-up. At least it seems that way. Alright, so here... Yeah, so we're, we're again, we're just going through uh, drawing with Pekaya, summoning our our Eldonias, and then summoning our other Paleozoics and controlling the field, and then here we can see his face down. Black Luge ritually likes to set as a trap. Uh, and so yeah, debunk is the reason, or not debunk is the reason. Millennium Eyes Illusionist, this guy is the reason that we're using debunk, because if he tries to activate that from the hand, then uh, we get to debunk that myth. All right, and then he, yeah, so he has Relinquished Fusion. Everybody, it seems like everybody has a Fusion card. Ah, uh, yeah, so two Relinquished Fusion, one Mimi Cat, two Toon Kingdom, or two Toon World, and three uh, Black Black Illusion Ritual. Yeah, of course, I know what that card is called. All right, so again, this is my first idea, using Paleozoics that are unaffected by the good suck. Um... Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, and why, why do we have debunk if our Pezoaks are unaffected by the good suck? Well, if he last minute gets out of Relinquished, uh, our Gravekeeper's Vassal can be taken by Millennium Eyes uh, Illusionist. So that's why we have two debunks. We, uh, so that debunk is not the last card that we draw. Or, our one debunk is not the last card that we draw. And then here's our final uh, combo. And here is our final score. 8k. Uh, there we go. And then we have two, 200 glossy and 400 prismatic. Uh, which is very gettable for precise 8k. Alright, so that's that's Paleozoics. That's fine. Uh, and I'm going to show the deck list afterwards. Uh, we, but they're a little bit e harder to to use. Uh, they're a little bit harder to optimize, and and obviously it's better with more, you know, Wall of D, Floodgate, ways to lock down the two monsters, Canadia, uh, all that stuff. But I'm just showing you the the free to play way. Uh, and then here, this deck is actually the deck that I recommend because uh, it's foolproof. You can just turn your brain off. We're just using uh, the Silent Swords, oh man, who free to play, right? 500 gems for a structure deck, for a Silent Swords and a structure deck. 
Uh, so you got to two Gemini Elf, and then we have our free to play protection, Curse of Anubis, and then of course our debunk. Uh, so this this one has three debunk actually because um, uh, it, it's very important that our Silent Swordsman not get good sucked in any form or fashion. So what do so Pegasus's deck is actually fairly powerful all right uh like it's probably bastion tyranno and then and then pegasus like he, like this is actually like a, a good strategy for from the dual links creator or from the Yu-Gi-Oh creator uh give the good suck and if you can't give the good suck attack over uh but just focus on the five re, re, uh what are they called relinquished spell cards five relinquished spell cards and with this one, with this version of the deck list, uh, with only one Silent Swordsman, you need to get a little bit lucky. And by that, I mean in his opening hand, he can only have one of those, either the Ritual or the Fusion card. Uh, because obviously if he has more, he'll activate more. And if you don't have multiple Silent Swordsmen, you don't get multiple Negates. But uh, in this version, in, in this instance, it, it did in fact work out. And then we just let Silent Swordsman become huge and glorious. And again, uh, when you're running this version of the deck, and if you're free to play, you have to keep this spell list in mind. All right, you save your negates for the two Relinquished Fusion and the three uh, Black Illusion Ritual. Uh, you know, negating Toon World is nice. Uh, don't worry about Toon Table of Contents. Don't worry about Mimi Cat. Just make sure that you keep the good sucks off the field, and you should be in good shape. Uh, obviously, if you have another um, Silent Swordsman, you use you replace uh, one of the Destiny heroes. And there's, so he's trying to go for more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we can see it and we can read it. Millennium Eyes Illusionist. You can discard this. I don't know why he normal summoned this. Target one effect monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to an eyes restrict fusion monster or relinquish your control as if it were equipped by that monster's effect. Uh, if an eyes restrict fusion monster or relinquish a special summon, add this card from the to your hand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think this is in one of the fake leaks, and there's... God, there's no way we're getting that. It's so good. It has to be recycled. And then... Oh, yeah, our, our one... So we can get uh, one Secret Pass and one Sign Sword Slash, right? Because they're limit two. Um, and then that's just another little form of protection. So what I'm thinking... What I'm envisioning with the Sign Sword Slash is if we miss in the gate, because he had two Relinquished cards... Uh, you know, we can protect with the Sun Sword Slash for one turn. And then here we have this Gravekeeper's Vassal, uh, Double Union, Prisma Union, and then this score was the same. This score was exactly the same. Uh, one, or two, what is it? Yeah, 400 Prismatics, so two Prismatics and two Glossies. 200 Glossy cards, and then destroyed five monsters for an extra 100 damage. So base score is 73 plus 600 Glossy Prisma plus 100 uh, Destroyed 5 Monsters. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the Silent Swordsman deck first because that's the one that I recommend uh, because this is just the easiest one, but you need the special skill. You need Light and Dark and Loops and Umbra. If you're good meta pleb, you've been grinding for Mask Tribute. So, hopefully you have it. Uh, and then again, if you have more Sign Swordsman, that is ideal. But it, it can work with only one, as we just saw. Uh, four, three Fear Monger, three Drill Darks, and then one Vassal, two Union Attack, one Slash, uh, one Secret Pass to the Treasuries, three Debunks, and then some free-to-play protection options. Uh, but, you know, every, all Canadias and Floodgates, and you'll be better off. Alright. Uh, without saving. And then the second one, which is, again, you can use any skill, but it's a little bit uh, harder to use, is... Um, 
Paleozoics, uh, this deck list differs because instead of having anti-cheese arrows, which I should have taken out previously, uh, we have two wetlands, uh, vassal, double prisma union, two D spells, uh, secret pass the treasures, and then our uh, 10 free to play Paleozoics, three Pekaya, three Eldonia, one Leoncolia, three Morella, and then debunk is, comes from the card trader. Thank you for watching. Happy farming.